Tell us who you are, where you're from, we're glad to have you here today. Uh, my name is Keith Jurek, I'm a fourth year student right now, graduating in May, studying computer science, going into law actually, um, so a bit of a change there. But um, I'm also, I'm involved with, there's a group called the Student Association of Michigan, I'm not sure if any gentlemen are familiar with them, um, but the big concern that we have and that I have with them is how, what are we trying to do to allow students to vote more easily? Because the current laws that are in place make it extremely confusing, extremely disheartening for students to vote, and when you don't have young people voting, they don't vote in the future. Right. So I guess I'd like to know if you have any plans on uh, moving towards online voter registration, making it easier for uh, in-person, um, voter registration to be relaxed to allow for uh, first-time voters to vote absentee. Well, I'm definitely looking for that conversation with our caucus with Tim because I know and I personally see where they want to head with it. The less people they have voting and the more of a deterrent that they make on every one of us to find out if we have to fill out a citizen card, all of this is a big deterrent on trying to suppress the votes and that is something politically that this Secretary of State's office has did from day one of taking that office, and I find it disgusting. As us, as American citizens, citizens in this state, are, is it happening to that? And I know Tim's going to touch on that, because they have a plan in the caucus to get that moving, to make it more accessible, to encourage people, especially the young people. And they want to not have you vote, because you vote usually in the way of the Democratic Party and their platform. And that's why they're specifically trying to alienate you, and it's disgusting. Yeah. Yep. Well, I, I totally agree, Representative Diane. Uh, I'm sure the uh, the Republicans are very concerned about all the Finnish illegal immigrants who are voting illegally. <laughs> 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 but uh, uh, it is it is outrageous the sorts of, of hoops and hurdles they try to put up to try to prevent people from uh, easily voting. And it is exactly designed for the reason that Representative Dianda said, which is they try to discourage people who are likely to vote Democratic from voting. Uh, and that's true not only of students, but it does tie into the citizenship question in terms of uh, nobody, I want to be clear, nobody thinks that illegal immigrants should vote, obviously. Uh, the law is very clear that only US citizens can vote. But by putting the citizenship uh, uh, separate box on the application, uh, I think it is uh, designed to try to discourage certain immigrant groups that are here legally in it from voting. And so there is a certain element of this intimidation that's been going on. And even in some uh, more serious ways than that, the Republican legislators last term, for example, uh, passed a law that would put really onerous requirements and regulations on groups that try to go out and register people to vote, for example. And that law was so extreme that the governor vetoed it. Um, but the legislative Republicans really want to make it harder to register new people to vote and for those people to easily vote. And so there are a few things I would suggest. One is uh, this uh, uh, allowing online registration for voting is very important. And the good news is that the governor has proposed doing that. Um, so that's good news. And there's a, a bill in the state Senate that was introduced by a Democrat, uh, Senator Steve Vita from the, the Warren Sterling Heights area in Macomb County, uh, that would uh, allow that. And we'll see if the Republican legislators go for it. The governor's open to it, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that it'll be able to pass the House or Senate. But that's an important step to make it easier to register. Uh, also, uh, we should allow, for any reason, absentee voting. Uh, anybody should be able to go in and vote in person at a clerk's office at a minimum in order to, and, and, and in advance of the election. Right now, not everybody can walk into a clerk's office ahead of the election and vote absentee. Um, we had tried to get that passed, uh, and it didn't uh, go anywhere, unfortunately, last term. I would even go further than that and say that anybody should be able to vote absentee by mail. Uh, that's something that the Republicans are adamantly opposed to because they claim it will result in fraud. Interestingly enough, they don't claim that it results in fraud when seniors do it. Apparently, they, they uh, only think it results in fraud when, when younger people do it. I mean, it's really pretty outrageous, their position on this. Uh, if it works for seniors, and we know it works, and it works well for them to cast absentee ballots by mail, there's no reason why everybody in the population shouldn't be allowed to do that. 
And then the third thing I would do that, that's uh, directly tied to university and college students is that back in, and, and Senator, you might have been there at the time, back in 02, I think it was, um, 01 or 02, and obviously you wouldn't have been a state senator at the time, but you might have been a state rep at the time. Um, they passed a law that made it much more difficult for students to vote at the community where they go to school. And I would undo that. I think the students should have the choice, and an easy choice, as to whether they would like to vote in their hometown or whether they would like to vote in their university or college town. And we should leave that up to college students to decide. And they should have to make a decision, obviously, more than 30 days in advance of the election. Uh, but it should be up to them. And we shouldn't make college students jump through a bunch of hoops uh, to make it harder for them to register to vote at the location of their college.